1978, Ateneo went to this league in 1986. De La Salle followed. It's a rivalry that has spanned generations and decades. Welcome to the Araneta Coliseum. Welcome to the Seniors Division ball game, Ateneo versus La Salle. I'm Jimmy Javier with Wacky Trillo, and this is an important ball game for both teams. You bet, Jimmy. Good afternoon, basketball fans. Very important, especially so for Ateneo, because I think La Salle is already in the final four. Ateneo is fighting for that uh, last slot with UE. UE is one game behind, but then again, Ateneo still has to meet LaSalle, USD, and UP, the three top matches here. Oh, yeah. While uh, UE only has to meet NU, Adamson, and uh, FEU. Of course, those are no pushovers either, but I think Ateneo will have the harder assignments. But very important this game. Again, throw all the paperwork out, Jimmy, because, you know, LaSalle-Ateneo rivalry, any, any team is uh, capable of winning. Especially Ateneo, they've had some bad breaks. I mean, Tuan got sick. Uh, the Season brothers were down with sore eyes. A loss a lot against of... NU at one yes, point. Yes, yes. So, but I think they've got a complete lineup now, and they're, they're coming on very strong. But then again, LaSalle wants to win because they want to get that first slot. You know, so that the first team, remember the final four, will meet team number four, and second team will meet team three. So let's go to some, some statistics first. Uh, team stats. Okay, you see that they're very even. Ateneo 43, LaSalle 45. Rebounds about the same. Steals goes, they, that goes to LaSalle. Blocks, that goes to LaSalle too, but only by one, no? So now, the key players uh, for LaSalle, they want the best uh, stats here. Roca, he's 15 and 8. Bautista, 15 and 3. Talan, 13 and 11 big rebounds. And you've got Tan and Trillo there. And then the Ateneo key players, Kui. Kui is going to be a big uh, factor here. 16 and 11. He'll have to keep away from foul trouble. Veraya, 15. 6, Rentosa 13 and 4, 7 and 4 for Pamin Tuan. Those numbers will improve, I'm sure. Pins on 4 and 3. And then, the matchup, this is a big one here. Telan and Kui. Which of these two players will lord it over? Look, Telan 13, 11, 2 and 2. Kui 16, more points, same rebounds, but less assists and shot black. But I feel Kui and Telan will have to keep away from foul trouble, especially uh, the big man from Ateneo Gabi Kui because he's very powerful inside and you know LaSalle they've got Roca and Telante that can really power their way so Gabi Kui will have to keep away from foul trouble uh, yes. and now we look at the big picture the team standings here in the second round of this 59th season we will see LaSalle on top 9-2 to two, UST 8-3 to three, tied with UP Ateneo like uh, my partner has said 6 wins and 5 losses there will be UE 5 wins and 6 losses a great chance of still making it to the final 4 as UE will just be up against uh, lesser touted rivals, but uh, Ateneo is going up against a lot of favored squads. But right now, this afternoon, as far as Ateneo and De La Salle are concerned, well, it's just between the two of them, and it's intangibles for this ball game. That's why this rivalry has spanned decades oh, yeah. and generations. We'll be back for Ateneo versus La Salle Seniors Division after these reminders. Take a look at this, Papa Deng, Roas. And Ramos. Ramos. <laughs> Good referees officiating this uh, senior encounter. And hello to all of you from Zamboanga. And we greet uh, all our viewers all the way from uh, Tawi Tawi to uh, Basco Batanes. Yep. Of course, the representative of Basco Batanes, none other than uh, Congressman Florencio Badu, who's also an aficionado of basketball, used to play. Uh, Seniors volleyball mm -hmm. as a youngster. Okay, as a youngster. He's still young, Jim. He's oh, yeah. still young. It will be Talan against Gabi Kui, and that was uh, the topic of our matchup when we introduced this ball game. The tip off brought to you by Petron Gasoline, the breakthrough Petron with XPS, the power ship, De La Salle. Very quick pass by Bautista to our threshold. Gets wow. the first foul of Tanichi Pinzon. Oh, yes. That's a key player for the Ateneans, Tanichi Pinzon. Yes, I was going to say, uh, Jim, that Ateneo should set their own pace here. Can't be open court basketball because that's uh, the Salas more talented players. Huh? So a lot of teamwork has to come into play here for Ateneo. Ali John on pressure. Missing both, and Ateneo, through Brandon season, snares the first rebound in this ballgame. This matchup, Tunichi Pinson and Dino Aldeguer, uh, they were matched up even in high school. John Verayo drills one, and look at that gallery of Ateneo on their feet, 
a Milo three-point shot. Go Milo, the official energy drink of the 96 Philippine Olympic team. Bautista, the jumper, it doesn't drop. Felice Pinto to the rebound. Ateneo ahead by three because of that three-point shot by Berayo. Tito for the jumper and also drops in another three. That will be 6-0, another Milo three-point shot. Wow, Ateneo starting very strong through the outside, but that's good because that's going to open the interior defense of Lasalle, making it easier for penetration from Ateneo. Marcelan against Gabi Kui, Roca against Sison, Aldeguer against Pinzon. Telan still. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Telan. Pinzon. Good defensive push by Pinzon. John Verayo takes the J. Wow. Drops it. That's wow. the three. Jimmy. Three three-point shots to start off this ball game. How about that? An early timeout might be called by Dasal here. Three out of three. A hundred percent shooting from the Ateneo. Alejan of Presto, Tyrone Bautista. This is back to Dino Aldeguer. Mark Clement still on another jumper. It doesn't drop in. A third defensive rebound for Tonici Pinto in the middle. He gives it to Gabi Kui. Gabi Kui is blocked by Mark Salan. Dino Aldeguer brings it down. The Mike. defense is there already. For right. The Athenian. Right. Tyrone Bautista on the left side. Mark Salan at the baseline. Oh! Aras Pagochaga will celebrate this big, block on Mark Pelaz. What a big defensive jam by Aras Pagochaga and Ateneo playing 100%. Perfect. John Verayo, turn around, another jumper. A high percentage from the field for the Athenian De La Salle University. A big egg at the start of this ball game. Ateneo 11. We've got a timeout. We'll be back. Bigger gallery for the Athenians, cheering yes. them on. After and all, it's yes. make or break for the Blue Eagles. Right, and why shouldn't they celebrate 11-0? Well, a long time, of course, 17 minutes and 46 seconds. La Salle has been blank for almost three minutes now, and they'll have to settle down. So far, the, the rebounding has worked. The boxing out has worked for the Athenians. Mark Salat, there's a triple team. Pinton. Pinton. Get his third to do a sprint wisely slows down looks down on the team a lot of time for de la Salle. the tyro bautista was fouled by alexander arespa Pachaga. right there first team for uh, first foul for arespa Pachaga. tyron bautista let's see if he settles his team down here Number 17 man from De La Salle, 61% from the free throw line. Okay, he gets his first. Doesn't get his second. The rebound will be taken by Tison. Yeah, Randon Tison. Tonichi Pinzon wants motion offense from his teammate. John Verayo, earlier a conversion. Three wow. straight conversions by John Verayo. 14-1. Nathaneo by 13 points. That's another three-pointer from uh, Verayo. So he's really taking strong, very strong outside. That means this man will have to come up. Tyrone Bautista against Alexander Arespa Conchaga. Roca against Sison. Inside the paint, the jumper is short. Roca for the rebound. And it hits the foot of Arespa Conchaga. Lasalle will keep the basketball. 16 minutes. And 38.9 seconds to go. 13 point lead still for the Athenians. Unlike the leaders at this point in the ball game. Very lucky shots. Uh, they have the luck of the jumpers from outside at this point. Steal by Konichi Pinzon. Aris Pakochaga on the left side. Back to Pinzon. Goes over to the right side. Over the top. The taller of Fresho. Well, yes, that get time, the rebound. That time, Jimmy, Atene could have brought that ball out first. They were well covered. Pinzon forced that attempt a bit, no? So they've got to play it smart from Iran. They have a 30-point lead, and they'll have to make the most of that. A pressure. Not boxed out there. The apologies from John Garayo to his bench. And it's 14 to 3 and an 11 point lead for the Athenians with 16 minutes remaining. Ares Pakochaga wants motion from Sison, who gives Verayo a pick. And 
Chris on with a jumper. It doesn't go. Dino Aldeguer, the small players are getting the rebounds for both squads. Telan with a layup, reaching high. 14-5 still, an 11-point lead for the Blue Eagles. Nine-point lead, actually, uh, Jim. He got some version of Casal. And Pinson setting up for his team here. 15 and 29. Season, another three. That's a new. What a high percentage <laughs> from the rainbow line. It's scoring three-point shots. Oh, yeah. Here, it's not raining men. It's raining three-point shots. Gallas and Gallas of Milo. Afresho, the jumper, offline, chases for his own miss, drop up for the follow-up. Dino Aldeguer against Afresho, and Telan, he streaks down, We is on the left side, Verayo on the right, this jumper, but you then know, a whistle was blown. Jimmy, very interesting to know that Pizzo already has four defensive boards. Four defensive boards for Tonichi Pinzon. He's been playing very well for his team here. Luigi Trillo checks in, and he replaces Dino Aldeguer. That's the only substitution so far. 15 minutes and 2 seconds. Ateneo by 12. 17-5. Pins on John Verayo. In the paint, out on the side. The jumper by Verayo. All net. He wants his point this Saturday afternoon. Ateneo's percentage is very high from the floor. It was all, of course, a very high winning percentage against the Blue Eagles. The pass years. Rebound will be taken by John Verayo. He dribbles down. Could be an open lane. He stops. Takes a jumper. He thought it was hot. That time it didn't drop and it was short. Jim, it's very obvious here that uh, Ateneo is clogging the lane and always concentrating to getting the defensive boards first. A 14 point lead. 14 minutes and 18 seconds to go in the first half. Two team fouls for Ateneo. One team foul for De La Salle University. Pinzon crosses the timeline. Took him five seconds. Pinzon top of the key. In the key hole. Dr. Verayo and now it's Gabby Gui. 17 on the clock. The turnaround from this at the right side. 16 points to lead of Ateneo. Trillo has the basketball. Again, Tonichi Pinzon. Pressure comes up the pick, and there instead of the pick catches the ball. Tyrone Bautista is short, and Verayo brings it down. And he waits for Tonichi Pinzo. But Jimmy, I'll tell you, very impatient uh, offense from the side. Now they've got to settle down and get two points at a time. It's a big hit, but that's not the impossible to overhaul. And Brandon Season, another wow. three-point shot for Ateneo. Please for, uh, for Ateneo, 19-pointer. They're Lasala. taking shots from the parking lot. Lasala was cut out for them. Oh, a bad pass by Tyrone Bautista. Who are fresh up by a, high -fly contact there. A 19-point lead with 13 minutes and 12 seconds to go. We have uh, Tristan and uh, one Aliado on the sidelines ready to check in here. Respa Machaga going baseline, handing off Gabby Queen. Nothing there. Luigi Trillo to the right side. Tyrone Bautista at the baseline. The handoff. Maui Roca too strong. And now Benici Pinson on a sprint against Osrecho. He passes back. Season with a jumper. It drops in. What oh. luck for the Athenians. Wow. What about this story by the Athenian? Unbelievable, Jimmy. But true. They're taking true. shots all the way from Bulacan and Paranyake. 27 and 5. 22 points in Trillo. It doesn't drop. Gabi Queen for the rebound. Suarez Makosaga and now Tonichi Pinto. 22 seconds on the side clock. Four turnovers there in favor of Ateneo. Suarez Makosaga inside. He flashes. The layup, nothing there. No fishing expedition. Luigi Trillo in the middle. And it's a tap out. There will be a zero foul from yes. Arespa Cochanga. Let's see, the foul is going to go against number three. No, it was on Verayo, the foul on Verayo on the top down right there behind. So, Tristan and uh, Aliado checking in. We've got something to in for Brandon Season. Tristan has his work cut out for him. In the first encounter, Tan missed a lot of three-point shots but made up for it 
in the last two minutes when he can the all-important three-point shot that mattered. So that's Don Aliado coming in. Don Aliado with three stands. Luis Antonio Trillo in his career as a Bengal was a triple-double player and a minor injury in the middle of his career in college and he's back 27-5 do you believe this 22-point lead? Trillo makes it no he misses Pamintuan saving it for a rest of Chaga Dorici Pinzon against Trillo that is the matchup no more Dino Ardeguer John Berayo against Cristan and the jumper short finally a rebound for Aliado Trillo to the left side to Bautista Bautista doesn't take the jumper looks for Cristan he has the license to shoot from three Trillo back to Aliado 19 on the shot clock De La Salle, Tyrone Bautista against Arespa Conchaga well covered slapped away by Ryan Pamintila they're really flagging the lane and giving very good health defense huh? De La Salle will have to set their place and run their uh, half-court offense here. Baseline inbound by Luigi Trillo. Tyrone Bautista is all alone. It doesn't drop. Good boxing on by the Athenian. Pamituan of a tap from Gabi Kui. And now Tonichi Pinzo goes down to the other side. John Verayo had good percentages earlier. This time it doesn't drop. Pinzo will get the rebound. Looks for a teammate, Ares Papuchaga, wants motion. On the right side is Pinzon, steal by Tyrone Bautista. Another okay. steal by Ares Papuchaga. The open lane, it's a pass off to Ryan Pamituan, and it drops it. Jimmy, actually, Ares Papuchaga held Tyrone Bautista right here. Ref is not calling it. That was Papa Deng Juan right in front, but not calling that foul. It was so obvious. It was so obvious, Jim. So it's 29-5. Underneath, Ares Papachaga started off, could be replaced. Also, Gabi Kui, that's good. Good uh, rotation on the part of the coaching staff of Ateneo. But the rest are starters. Consultant Ron Jacobs is on your screen. He's the consultant for De La Salle University. He must not be happy with the turn of events at this point. Roca for the turnaround. Too strong. The rebound to Tyrone Bautista. There's the double team. Baseline. Bowie Roca. Strong layup. And he is fouled. Okay, that's number six man. Acosta, Raymond Acosta. First what, foul for him. What a jump start for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Verayo actually. Okay, Brandon Sisson is in the screen. 12 points today already. With only the first quarter pass. Two men actually, uh, Sisson and Verayo. 12 points and 13 points. Those are the two big men that sparked this breakaway by Ateneo. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven three-point shots for Ateneo. Can you believe De La Salle limited to just five points in one quarter? Better believe it. Ventosa with a jumper. It doesn't drop. Bautista for the rebound. He will have to wait for a point guard. Trillo's on the right side. On the left side is Cristal. He takes a J. Yes! It drops in a three for De La Salle and Tristan. It could be his afternoon well, he was from the a, rainbow line. Jimmy, he was a hero in that game against Ateneo in the first round. Oh, yeah. Three-point shot. Oh, Verayo! What a guy! Another Milo three-point shot. John Verayo, 32-8. Holy cow, Jim. Verayo just dragged that top. figure already. 32-8. La Salle at this point could go double digits at that time. Rentosa is all alone. This layup drops in. 34 to 8. 9 minutes and 27. Unbelievable, huh? Ateneo really playing smart basketball. Very serious here. And going for the kill. Never mind the big 18 point lead. Or 16 point lead, rather. Is that 26, I see? Oh, yes. Better believe it. La Salle has yet to go double digits at this game. And Joseco checks in. John Garayo is replaced. What an excellent ball game for John Garayo. And he, he gets, gets the, crowd the applause excited. he deserves. He gets the crowd excited here.
Nine minutes and 15. Vasilites regrouping. Okay. Some shoving over here. Vasilites regrouping. Okay. Some shoving over here. So toss out against five Vasilites. Your Composure is the name of the game, even this early. You're down by that much. 34-8. You have to be composed. Tyrone Bautista has to strike. Some good words from our referee. The second is Bautista. Ojiramas, Papa Deng Rojas. They have to be on top of this very emotional ball game. Tyrone Bautista. All the five majors in the fifth year played for the Sampeda Red Cups in his junior career. Also played for the Sampeda Midgets. But the FPBL MVP. So he makes one. He just makes one out of two. That's right. Very good shooting on the part of the Salier. And off the Joseco. Ventosa. Ryan Pamituas. Benici Pinzo. Ventosa, this jumper offline. Gan rebounding right there, both squads. Costa with a foul. <laughs> Celan gets that ball away from Acosta. Acosta could give it up right away. That was, right. was blown already. That's right. Maybe uh, he was fouled there on Aliado. And then he was holding on to the ball. So, well, Ruff is telling Acosta just to keep the ball out. Third personal on Acosta. 34 minus 9. That's the lead of Ateneo. That's 25, Jim. That's right. Cristan, deep. Aliado. Up close, a foul. Again, it will be on Acosta. Foul number 4. Wow. In such a short span of time, Acosta picks up his fourth personal. And he does his job. So Brian Sasson, season coming in. Already in penalty. It's Ateneo Lasal only with one team foul here. And only nine points. Finally, Alonso gets a chance to make it. Ten. Oh, three throws of Lasal very poor here. Then the he misses half. the first free throw. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a change of mindset on the part of De La Salle and their archers. They're leading this league at this point. Ateneo wants to fall back into the final well, four. They're both yes. nations. Jimmy, it's very obvious here that but they know how important this game is. I'm talking about Ateneo. And Aliado misses two. Aldeguer is blocked. You know, we were telling about this coverage that if they should lose here, it'd be very hard to get to the final four. So this victory, if they do win here, a big boost to them. Huh? That's right. Mark Levin Salan at the corner. Salijan Crescio, jumper in the keyhole. Nothing there. Again, another rebound for Tony Chipindo. In the middle, he passes off to Chaseco. This jumper doesn't drop in. The rebound by Cristan. Aliado on the left side, Telan on the right. There's Dino Aldeguer to Telan. This jumper from Telan from that corner. Aliado struggling hard and picked off by Pindo. Restosa on the right side. Pindo having a hard time. Two lateralites on him. But we'll see what the call will be. So I don't know why the last sides are too hot-headed also at this stage. They should just relax and take it easy, Jim. I mean, uh, there, was two, there were two on Pinzon, and then the other last sides joined in, no? and there was a hellbot situation already. Of course, we know why. That score is at 25 points, so oh, yeah. they're, they're a bit uh, hot under the collar. But if they want to win this game, they should just relax and... Uh, you know, don't let it get to them. Watch You're this. down by this much, 34-9. Yes, Your watch, coach needs a watch Tylenol. This. Watch this, okay. There, and then you see some last lights come in. Don, Don Aliado, a bit uh, forceful there. And also Dino Aldegar's left foot right there. Uh, where it's not supposed to be. Thirty-four nine, eight minutes and five. Ateneo, 18 fouls already. La Salle with only one. So a very aggressive defense on the part of the Athenians. Aliado should win this tap, but then it's the second that gets the basketball. Ventosa is not free there, so Fresho. Ventosa with the layup, it's short. He forced that one, and Lasal brings it down. Three men on offense. Finally, the two tall ones join them on the right side. This time against Chaseco. There's Dino Aldeguer. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Aliado will not take the jumper. He will pass off to Cristan. This turnaround by Cristan. 
over to Aliado. The reverse doesn't drop. Aliado once again. And the foul, against, foul. the foul against Ventosa. The foul will go against Ventosa there. Well, Aliado that time never gave up. Was able to get two offensive boards. Okay, this score is unbelievable. 34 9 with 7 minutes and 37. This is, this is unbelievable too. All the crowd is standing up. They've got chairs to sit down in. It's just crowd. Dong Aliado in the line. Missed two earlier. Let's see how he fares here. Oh, that's. Oh, got the bounce dip. That should be the lucky break for De La Salle. Now with double digits, finally. With 7 minutes and 37. They are now with 10 points. Make it 11 from Aliado. 34 11. Ventosa will wait for teammates wisely. Joseco, the jumper, doesn't drop. Aliado gets the rebound. Dino Aldeguer, Cristan. He takes a J. Offline, offline from Cristan. Air ball by Cristan. The apologies to his bench. And he walks back on defense. We've got a timeout with Ateneo on top by 23. We'll be back. Great things start from small beginnings. Growing up, reach early for your dreams. Delicious! I love its rich chocolatey taste. Milo provides essential vitamins, minerals, and proteins active children need for strength, stamina, and Olympic energy. When you're active and hot, you sweat a lot and lose much body fluid. Replenish with a Gatorade. Gatorade is scientifically formulated to be absorbed quickly by the body, rapidly replacing fluids, minerals, and energy lost when you sweat. Drink up! Play up! Let me tell you... Nothing quenches deep down, yeah. but it hurts better than Gatorade. Nothing beats Gatorade. Unier, the wireless microcomputer controlled room air conditioner. Unier, feel and touch the power. The 59th UAAP season would like to thank people. Well, you know, Rendosa is always a very dangerous perimeter shooter. And Un now, believable three point uh -huh. shooting. By the Blue Eagles, Chris Tan, Tyrone Bautista. We will see that stat at the half, uh, Jim. Maui Roca, Caligiano Fresho. Someone needs to take an attempt underneath too deep. Marcella, no put back. A foul by Gabby Queen, fresh from the bench. Only the first foul for oh, Gabby Queen. Team foul situation. Can you believe this, LaSalle? Only with one team foul. Rather, two. Okay, two team fouls. For LaSalle now, and Ateneo is in penalty. LaSalle can claw back from the free throw line, and Delan has been excellent from the stripe. Three minutes and five seconds remain at the half. A 20 point lead. 41 21. Two minutes and 56 remaining. Restosa, another shot, drops in. I can't believe this, Jim. Ateneo must have practiced a three-point shot for 24 straight hours. Holy cows. And Ateneo's, uh, LaSalle's defense will have to come out, uh, Jimmy. They're taking those three-point shooters from Ateneo for granted, you know. They'll have to come out. Maui Rock on left side, Marcelan. He will take a jumper, yes. He sharpened that shot. And he's been uh, going to the score sheet with that jumper. 44, 23, 2 minutes and 18. L.A. Muma, Gabi Kui, Rentosa with a fake. The shot, it doesn't drop. A rebound taken by John Garayo, the putback. Mark Celan is fouled in the air. Well, that was an incidental contact there. Oh, technical foul. Why so? Let's see, huh? I thought it was an incidental contact there between Season and uh, 
Mark Salan. And Season could didn't know someone is on the floor. Okay, we'll, we'll see. watch this. Season didn't know that Salan was down on the floor. Watch. Okay, Salan is going to get the board here and will be fouled right there. And then he falls down. Season is walking down. And then Salan fires back. So a technical is given Salan right there for throwing the elbow. And then later on, a technical will be given also Season. And another Season checks back in. Yes, that's uh, Brandon checking in for brother Brian Who, now. Who's the older brother here, just by a few seconds? <laughs> that I will have to ask them. 44-23 at this point, in two minutes and four remaining. For your information, Always outside, an emotional ball, ball game, outside yes. scoring, yes, Ateneo with 40 points from the outside, La Salle 7. 40 points, can you beat that? But the law of averages will chase down the percentages of the Blue Eagles as we move to the second half. 44-23, if they can maintain that clip, it will be a very excep exceptional perimeter ball game for the Blue Eagles. Uh-huh. So what gives here? Setting down both squads, very emotionally charged at this point. And the referees uh, with some words for both team captains and huddles from both coaches. Salan with his coach. As we look. Well, Salan will be sent to the line yes, for two free throws. Not that foul by uh, Brian Season. Makes his first, yes. Salan's been doing very well from the strike. I'm sure he's got a very uh, good percentage. 82% from the free throw line for uh, Mike Salan. Second one was short. Gabi Kui will get his share of rebounds in this ball game, especially defensive ones. Fatal, of course, excellent defensive rebounding squad. Tison, the number 12 Tison inside. Now Rentosa, left open. He knew where that bounce would go. And he retrieved it, L.A. Mumar will set it up See, once again. Yes, Jimmy, that's what we're saying. A very patient offense by Ateneo here. Working the ball around, setting the picks. Here comes Ventosa. To Gabi Kui. Gabi Kui inside the rainbow line. She's on with the ball pick and then the drive. He converts against Mark Celan. And uh, Celan is seeing double. Yes. <laughs> that's right. 46-24. He, he said, I thought I got rid of the season. And another guy comes in. Dalijano Fresho, given space by John Verayo. There's a mismatch. Cristan against L.A. Mubar. And Telasal taking advantage. Oh, yes. Definitely a mismatch there between uh, uh, but, uh, rather Cristan and L.A. Mubar. Fresho against L.A. Mubar. A full head taller. Fresho, John Verayo. Rebound by Marcelan, a strong one, Cristan. Orfresho is free, yes! LaSalle going to the running game here. Finally, that lead goes down to 18 points. 46-28, Ateneo on top, this time out. Ateneo always um, wins the cheering. things get a little rowdy, our main uh, uh, goal is to make them cheer and not uh, for the school and not try to hit the other school. What we're there for is to, is to motivate the crowd, you know, to get them into the game. Rex Cano uh, is Latin, so Rex T means straight and Cano means up. So Recticano means straight to the top. It's a great feeling when you're up there and you made it and stuff. You know, it's cool. Basically the movements of our cheering squad, the Baboy, um, are based on um, the movements of an eagle. Pablo actually uh, traditionally as it was passed on to us. I said like it was uh, considered as fabulous. It's uh, Fabulio P, Fabulio A, we are fabulous. Once we get school, we will be able to win. It doesn't matter whether we win or lose. 
because it's the school you choose. Being, for me, uh, being a babble, that's the best part. You know, I see the crowd responding to what I have lived my life for. Everybody's trying to be better than the other, and uh, in the basketball game, it's, it's everything. It's, it's a satisfaction within me, or within any babble member, that you're able to cheer for a team, and you're able to boost the morale of the team by egging on other people to cheer. When we're ahead, we loud there are voice kids. But when we're down, so sometimes it goes down. But but we should not let it affect us because we have to do our best every game. We, know, we never stop. We always have the heart to continue on, whether we win or we lose. So um, it's not being biased or anything, but I really feel that Ateneo Gale is the best. It's a gratifying experience because you know you're doing something for your school. Na in a way, because you love your school, you're 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 helping it and you're you're making things count and hopefully changing the odds in your favor. The best sixth man of the Ateneo team doesn't sit on the player's bench. Actually, the best sixth man of the Ateneo is in the stands, in the gallery. As we talk to both coaches at halftime, Ateneo right now leads by 18 points. So their strategy is same as the first half. Same as the first half, do exactly what they did. And uh, they need to control the boards a little bit more. Because although they're winning by 18, they haven't been able to control the board. And uh, believe it or not, Coach Chris Kalilan and, uh, told us that they want more offense in this uh, Ateneo offense. So Jordan Gerasau, Coach John told us uh, that they need to defend the three-point shot. Ateneo has shot 10 three-point shots in the first half, and they need to stop it if they have any chance of winning this game. They also need to pressure the ball handler. So let's see what happens in the second half. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jude Torquato. Jude Torquato. Okay. Let's see what gives here. First of all, of course, LaSalle will have to Relax, Jim. They're oh, too yeah. uptight. Definitely. They're too, and they're getting, they're getting hot under the collar. That's very, very bad. You know, you lose your concentration and all that. Of course, Ateneo, they're hoping LaSalle continues playing. Guys, they hope the last lights continue playing that way because you can concentrate if you think of, uh, you know, throwing elbows or whatever. But uh, let's see what gives here. And we have some special guests uh, yes, coming uh, in. Actually, Mr. Pangilinan of uh, Metro Pacific and his uh, executive assistant, Bong Santa Maria, to watch this ball game. 46-28. Uh, and Ateneo is on top at this point. The numbers have to even out in the third and fourth quarter. Let's see if uh, the luck of the Ateneans continues. And Ateneo is starting out with the same five. Pinzon, Kui... Ares Pacochaga, Verayo, and Brandon Season. For La Salle, they will be starting out also with the same five. Except for... Well, right now, we've got the uh, subject of our Kodak MVP, Marco Rosselis. 16 years old from the Ateneo. The most valuable picture is brought to you by Kodak, the official imaging sponsor, Marco Rosselis. Jump ball between Gabby Kui once again and Mark Clemens Delan. As our referees in a huddle with the team captains on the floor, Tyrone Bautista and John Verayo. Uh -huh. Yeah, they want to settle down. I mean, let the players settle down. That is, so they're calling. They're probably calling very strict now here. Any contact, any they'll probably blow the whistle, and that's good, so that the referees can control the basketball game. A referees, Papa Deng Rojas and Oji Ramos. This is Jimmy Javier with Waki Trillo at the Arneda Coliseum. Should be a third quarter to look forward to Ateneo versus De La Salle. Tyrone Bautista gets to handle the basketball. On him will be Alexander Respacochaga with an acting job. Unnoticed by the referees, Tyrone Bautista once again. 18 on the clock, Mark Pelan up close using the left hand. The tap by John Verayo and uh, Tenichi Pinzon. Speeding down to the right side, Gabby Kui underneath to Seesaw, the jumper. Brandon Seesaw playing the game of his life here. He's got 16 points in the ball game. It's 48 to 28, a 20 point lead. Can the Athenians maintain? Will the Lasalites have enough nerve to bring it down? They've got the talent. 
15 on the shot clock. Tyrone Bautista, the jumper doesn't drop. That was a brick thrown up. John Barrio speeds down. Met by Ofrecio. Season says, let's slow down things a bit. Sandia Respokachaga gives to the left side. Tonichi Pinzon is there. Season with the ball fake. 17 on the clock. Season on the right. Yes, I about to say again. That time Season did force that attempt. But the bad pass by Respokachaga. Oh! Recovery by Ares Pacochaga. Change of fortunes here. Seal after seal, and LaSalle has the basketball now. Tyrone Bautista, will he wait for teammates? Wisely he does. 21 on the shot clock. Orfresho will not yet take a jumper. Dino Aldeguer has it. Tyrone Bautista's got the license to shoot. It's short. Put back. Drops in. Ares Pacochaga is picked up by one of our referees, well, Season, was, for the inbound. Yes, he was asking for a foul, because on the way down, Tyrone Bautista <laughs> ran over him. But he was just wanted to get back on defense, no? So, 18 minutes and 13 seconds. Remain. Oh! That shot that's dropped got in. It. That's a foul from Tyrone Bautista. Brandon Season burning the hoops here. A Milo three-point shot from Season. And not only that, Jim, Chance for a four-point play when it rains, it pours, and this is an example. He was fouled. He followed it up. Tyrone Bautista fouled him. So possible four-point play. Five three-point shots now for Brandon Season. Four for Verayo and two for Rentosa. Free throw drops in. 52-30. A 22-point lead, unbelievable. Dino Aldeguer to the right side, Tyrone Bautista. A fresh show. He was free, he did take the jumper. Look, look at that. Rocha. It's stolen by Tony Chipinzon. It's a foot race. Dino Aldeguer stops it from behind. Did you see that defense of uh, Ateneo? Huh? They clamp down on any last side that gets that ball near the paint. We'd like to thank Pet Shop, now celebrating a decade of ideas and expression in one voice as we look at that slow-mo by Alaksa. Nike, just do it, is Lacombe Cellular. Season trapped, almost stolen. Ares Pacochaga drops down a foul by Mark Talan. Mark Talan picks up foul number two. He readily acknowledges that foul on Sandy Ares Pacochaga. It's going to be a side court throw in here for Ateneo. That was the big left foot of Kalan in the way. 52-30, 22 point lead. Not De La Salle, but Ateneo. On top of the standings, De La Salle, Ateneo struggling to get into the final four. And they're showing us they need this ball game. Season once again. Wow, wow, wow. Drilling it. Wow, 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 wow. Brandon Season, who are you? Wow. Another three-point shot. 55-30. What, what a game for Brandon Season here, huh? How many three-points does he have now? He's got six. Six three-points from Brandon Season. Can't seem to be doing anything wrong. And, you know, my heart goes up for this season, Twins, uh, Jimmy, because I used to know them very well when they were with LaSalle Zobel. And they're playing very well here, especially Brandon. Tyrone Bautista is free. He uses the glass. Maui Roca has another chance. He gives it to Tyrone. Tyrone with a drive. It still doesn't drop. Ares Pacochaga. And now Tony Chipinzon on the left side is Season. He gets the ball and he fakes. He Going travels. To Going to be travel that time. Right. Very good call by the refs. Uh, he did travel, intimidated somewhat by uh, Mark Clemens Stellan. Six out of seven, three-point shots for Brandon Season. I wrote Bautista, Maui Roca, this jumper, you know, offline. That's one player that they've taken out of this game, Maui Roca. They're clamping down defensively on him, and he can't get his shot inside, Jimmy. So the Chipito, left side, the rest of 21 on the clock. John Verayo against Calijano Fresho. He sneaks in, he's blocked from behind. The rest of Pacochaga picks up the garbage. Gets blocked himself, goes back on defense. And Dino Aldeguer brings it down against Tonichi Pinzon to Orfresio. 19 on the clock, Orfresio with a quick three-point shot. I was about to say, Jimmy, that Maui Roca has not scored any points today 
He's the leading scorer for La Salle. So that's a big stat there that Ateneo has taken out. Dorichi Pizzo and Ares Pajochaga, 16 on the clock. Virayo struggling inside, popping out. Gabi Kui gets closer to Dorichi Pizzo and picks it up to Ares Pajochaga, who's fouled by Mark Talan. Mark Talan, foul number three on Mark Talan. You know, you know, sometimes they say, you know, luck plays a big role, but it's not really that Ateneo is lucky. They're making themselves lucky because they're hustling, they're moving around. So it's not only luck. They're, you create your own luck, and that's what Ateneo is doing at the moment. The land is taken, is lifted by uh, Dong Aliado. 15 minutes, 51 seconds. Ateneo will fire their eyes, Jim. The Ateneo High School Class 74 will celebrate the 22nd year of its graduation in a grand reunion at Tito's Restaurant Ground Floor of the Robertson Galleria. Best time to uh, tell that to some alumni watching this ball game. They must be enjoying themselves. And Ares Pacochaga scans it from the strike 56-33 probably saw the face of Tony Mark, Tony Reyes, mom of L.A. The Sal Resto, two, Dino Aldegueres pops out, rebound taken by Jan Verayo, the pass to Tison, he loses it to Talijano Fresho, two on two, two on one, or Fresho, oh. wow, or Fresho to coach Chris Kalilan. What turnovers here, huh? Well, they're trying too hard, and it looks like Brandon Season might be hurt. Brandon Season is on his feet. Let's see. He's all right. He's all right. He'll shake it off. It does help if you have a lookalike just waiting to replace you. But the coaching staff is allowing scoreless today, Maui Roja. And you mentioned that partner. Uh -huh. So Berlayo shut him out. Berlayo in the ball game for Brandon Season. 56-33. 23 point lead. Michi Pinto. John Barayo. No jumper. Pass to Gabi Gui deep. He did step on the baseline. He slips. He turns it over. So things are evening out as far as the numbers are concerned. 15 minutes and 4 seconds remaining. Bobby Roca. Tyrone Bautista against Ares Pacochaga. Big assignment for Ares Pacochaga. A charge on Tyrone Bautista. Again, Jim, I'd just like to say here that La Salle is trying too hard, you know. They're trying too hard and they're committing the turnovers. They can't believe the situation they're in, but Ateneo has just been playing a hell of a game. They'll have to accept that and get two points at a time. Yeah, I remember the last time the Athenians won. It was that last year of Richie Tixon. Pass inside, Gabi Kui. Three-second violation is called here. Mm -hmm. On Ares Pacochaga, just watching the action inside the paint. 14 minutes, 38 seconds remain in this ball game. The score's been plugged at 56-33. 14 minutes and 31. Remaining, Dino Aldeguer in the middle, pops it back out. Salejano pressure has to can this. No, but he gets it back. And now Maui Roca could go to the scoring column, but then Gabi Kui rejects it. Good save, save by Pamintua. Beautiful save by Ateneo there, and they're running. They're three running. Three. John Verayo, will he take the three? He does. It's a little short. Gabi Kui, Pamintua, they will not control. Dino Aldeguer will get it. Aldeguer. To the left side, no open lane, Aliado to finally control it, he gives it to Cristal. Maui Roca is fouled from behind by Ryan Pamintua, a the, rookie mistake. And the Athenians are challenging every shot and every pass of the last light. So that foul by Pamintua is all right. The second personal on him, four fouls, 14 fouls for the Sal, two for Ateneo. So even if sometimes you foul Jim, that's okay because your defense is always there. And what gives here? Ateneo ball? So they lose the ball. 56-33. Pizzon once again. The early matchup 
in the first quarter still continues here in the third. Feeds on against Aldegar. Gabby Kui this time against Maui Rock. Delan is in the bench. Ares Papuchaga does not convert. Dino Aldegar looks down on pressure on the right side. Cristan is there on the left side. Aldegar backs down because Ares Papuchaga picks up Cristan right away. Aliado cannot control that pass of Dino Aldegar. And Rentosa checks back in to replace Ares Papuchaga and Marcelan will also replace Eduardo. You see the bench, you see the crowd of the Salvian all quiet in disbelief. Ateneo crowd continues cheering on their part, uh, Jim. And boy, what a holiday this will be for Ateneo should they really go on to win this. Ferraio! That was just a two, but. High percentages. We used Bell. to call him Big Boy John Ferraio until Gabby Kui arrived for the Ateneo. And now Tyrone Bautista makes one in yeah. baseline. That time the defense of Ateneo was not on him. A quick two points for De La Salle. 58 35. 23 point lead being maintained at 23. At the half it was 46 28. Pinzo, left corner, Gabby Kui, left quarter court. In the keyhole, John Garayo. Above the rainbow line, this shot doesn't drop. Aliado was all alone for that rebound. Tristan looks down. On the right side, Talan could take this jumper. He does. It doesn't drop. And Verayo comes up with a rebound. Amituan goes to the point guard, to Lichi Pinzon. Restosa is free underneath, but there is Pinzon. You know, well taken jumper. There were four last rides there. Nobody approaching Pinzon. They let him have the open shot. And it's 60-35. Wow. Lasal Yado with a good fake. He has to work hard for the points. And Pamituan gets another foul. This is the top five for Coach Kalilan and Coach Palu. There's the foul. Aliado will go to the line now. We have Maui Roca back in the ball game for Orfresho. Maui Roca still scoreless here. No point for Maui Roca. The flags aren't waving for the Dela Salle fans at this point. Down by a huge margin of 25. 24 reduced by Aliado with 11 minutes and 59 remaining. And look at that Ateneo crowd, very happy, huh? Zero out of seven for Maui Roca. Don Aliado scores his second. Happy birthday to Manny Montemayor of XOR Studios and also happy birthday to Madonna. Madonna, yes. The Silver Star staff. And belated happy birthday to Barry Pasqua of Sports Weekly Magazine. Back to the action with 18 seconds on the clock. John Ferraio once again swishes it from three. I, can, I cannot get over the way Ateneo is shooting from the outside and the way LaSalle, LaSalle's defense is allowing them the three-point shot. They're hot. Maui Roca finally goes yes. into the scoring column. Two points. First of all, I was saying earlier, Jim, that that defense of LaSalle has to be extended now because Ateneo is very hot from the outside. There's Barayo again. Not this time. Mallado gets the rebound. Five seconds across the timeline for De La Salle. Tyrone Bautista inside to Aliado. He wants a foul from Pamituan, but he's blocked. And he travels, and Pamituan celebrates. His good piece of defending. 63-39. 11 minutes and four. Well, I really think La Salle cannot recover, need to recover from that opening salvo of the Ateneo chip. They can't believe it, and that's the reason why they're hiring up their attempts to commit the turnovers. And again, you got to give credit to Ateneo. They're playing very well, very calculated basketball, you know, getting the shots to put the outside, setting up the picks. So you've got to give them credit for that. 65-39, door was shut for Tyrone Bautista, so he backs down. Maui Roca could get hot. Tyrone Bautista pops one. It's a little short, and uh, Pinzon will foul Cristan. Pinzon gets his third personal. Once again, a reunion of Class 74 of the Ateneo. 7.30 in the evening on September 27 at Chico's Restaurant. 
Call this number 723-9436. Aliado, left side, Maliropa, top of the key, 25 seconds on the clock. Two players drop to the floor, Perrayo and Maliropa, some boxing out going on. It was the offensive team boxing out the defense yes, that time, with Cristan converting on the foot side. There was a mismatch there, Cristan, it was a uh, pin zone on Cristan inside. A 24-point lead. After three quarters of basketball, the underdogs are still ahead. John Perayo inside the paint, sneaks one in. Barcelona commits another foul. A good fishing expedition for big boy John Perayo. Fourth person, oh, yeah. Barcelona. Well, as I was telling you, Jim, Sene Lasalle, you throw all the papers outside, all the stats. And the pin zone gets a big round of applause. That's Aris Papachaga coming in. So now, the coaching staff of Ateneo found that mismatch in Cristan uh, and Pinzon. They're putting in Aris Papachaga. As we see, Verayo hit another one. How many points does Verayo have now? 22. And 23 points for Brandon Season. Only two really big scorers here for the Ateneo, but wow. The percentages have been high for those two shooters. Exceptionally high. That's reflected in the score, 67-41. This time, between the legs, and this shot, he got, he's got the rhythm now. 67-43, 9 minutes and 31. Junior Rentosa, John Verayo, takes this jumper. This time it doesn't drop. Quickly bringing it down is Tyrone Bautista. More points needed by De La Salle. Aliado. No, Bautista did not continue his cut. And the pass was short from Aliado. Dominic Uy hasn't seen action for La Sala. I wonder why. 67-43. Tosa, John Verayo. 21 on the clock. Ares Pacochaga. Gabi Cuyo on the right side. Low posting. Ares Pacochaga gives it to the left side. On a John Verayo low post. Rentosa fires a three. Yes, it drops in. Another Milo three-point shot. Again, there you saw very, very patient. Velayo couldn't do it inside. He spotted Rentosa outside. And why not? Hey, this is a 27-point lead. It's for real. Velayo drops down. Maui Roca is free, but it doesn't convert. Maui Roca right there, the putback. Maui Roca again blocked. Maui Roca not traveling. Maui Roca still with the basketball. Tyrone Bautista off sync. Gabi Kui diving down, saving it. Ventosa, Ares Pacochaga against Cristan. Takes Lasal one on one. He misses. Yes. A lot of hustle plays as far as Athena is concerned. They came here ready to die, uh, Jim. Oh, just, yes. Just to win this ball game. And that's how it looks like 27 point lead for Ateneo because of better hustle plays. A lot of intensity on defense from the Blue Eagles and a lot of luck on offense. 70-43, we have a timeout. Luico, uh, Mr. Herrera of Gatorade and uh, Manny Pangilina and uh, Bong Santa Maria of Metro Pacific. And right there, Alan Glenn Patrimonio. If uh, we move more to the right, we'll see... Uh, that's right. And Jim, uh, hey, Ateneo, they're changing their game, huh? We're talking about the 2A, Fila 2A system. Fila's products are currently worn and endorsed by some of the world's renowned athletes, like Grant Hill, last year's NBA Rookie of the Year, and a U.S. Dream Team member at the Centennial Olympics. Another Fila model is Jerry Stackhouse, who is a candidate for this year's Rookie of the Year. Check out the Grant Hill and Stackhouse shoe models at all Fila outlets. Change the game, John Verayo. The Athenians have changed their game oh, yes. against De La Salle, 70-43. We were saying earlier, if the frame would have moved more to the right, we would have seen the uh, managing director of uh, Kabayan. And uh, that's Bob, Mr. Bob Escala, cheering De La Salle. 7 minutes and 23. Yes! 72-43. A bigger third 20, quarter. 29-point lead yes. now. 
points off turnovers. That's all at the nail. Alley you? Yes. Sprawl. Official. Well, the, mark, the way, uh, you know, that's a long time. Seven minutes, five seconds. But the way the ball game's going, Jim, I think it's over. I think Atene has got this ball game won. Let's see. And this is Kristan. Maui Ropa. Kristan's the only one trying to take shots from the three-point line. And Junior Ritosa brings it down. Time is their friend. So they, they use they, it. And they're going to wait. That's right. Playing very smart now is Ateneo. They know they've got the big lead. And why not? Let's uh, bring that time down as we see Gabi Gui will miss one inside. Rebound taken by Mark Delas. And now Tyro Bautista, the one who brought it down. Tristan, two Talan, bumped by Gabi Gui. That oh, was Talan. a strong bump. Talan goes down. Talan goes down from that bump by uh, Gabi Gui. Watch this in slow-mo. That will come from uh, Tristan. That's the cut. Boom. Both had momentum on his, on his left or right hip. The hip point, I think. He'll have to be substituted. I think he's... Uh, it has been not such a lucky afternoon for De La Salle. But again, a different kind of mindset that the two Eagles brought to this ball game. Up was on their side when all those triples started booming in the first quarter. On gallons and gallons of Milo three-point shots. And he's not A-OK -okay at this point with that foul well, of uh, Gabi Kui. Well, we Gabi Kui. Gabi Kui is built very solid. Oh, yeah. And uh, he got in contact with uh, Delan. That says it all. 14 converted out of 28 attempted. 50% from the three-point line. Then, 42 points. 72-45. John Verayo around Dino Aldeguer. Restosa, Ares Pacochaga. 18 on the clock. Very patient offense by the Blue Eagles. Ryan Pamituan. Junior Restosa, a three. Oh, yeah. It has rained from the rainbow line this afternoon. I tell you, I haven't seen shooting such as this in a long time, Jim. I think they are really going to town oh, on the yes. three-point territory. Huh? This has been such a phenomenal ball game from the rainbow line. And Ateneo is already celebrating their impending victory here, a 30-point lead. That's the biggest, 75 to 45, can you imagine? And who are they doing this to? Or oh, only the... Only the, the leaders of the this leaders tournament. The team on top. And, you know, this should make the Final Four very interesting, Jim, because UE is still in contention, huh? But the question will be, can Ateneo maintain this kind of form against USP other and good UP. squad? Right, USP and UP. Well, yeah. this, this should be a big boost to their ego. I mean, you know, you just don't do that to LaSalle. And Ateneo here with a 28-point lead. And look at that, look at those hustle plays, huh? 28 point lead, Gabi Queen still diving for that basketball. Dino has to get that pass to Tyrone Bautista. Alex Pacochaga, covering Tyrone Bautista. There's this jumper by Tyrone, oh, offline. Boy. Offline, wow. And only about seven players. Dominic Boyas is in action. And all this action comes to you because of our sponsor, Keller bought the official vitamins of the RBC for the United States Olympics and Alexander official pain reliever of the Philippine team to Atlanta. From behind, Pakistuan will foul Aliado. Yes, that's the foul against Ryan Pakistuan. Team foul situation, LaSalle with five. Ateneo is in penalty now. And, and this LaSalle gallery is done. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Zamora is in the ball game now for Bautista. And uh, completely stunned, you're right. Finally, Dominic Oy checks in. Time remaining. Is that kind of outside scoring? Four minutes and 23. And they recover. Dino Aldeguer is passed from behind by Junior Entosa. We'd like to thank Trigen Computers, available at the Internet Universe, Park Square One, Ayala Center in Makati. Oh yes, that says it all. From the, the bench of De La Salle. 
to that expression. And that goes to the keeper. Tison is picked up by Mother Duan after committing the foul on Aliado. Look at this slam. <laughs> Don Aliado, a lot of uh, energy in him. He'd be down by 28 yeah, seconds. Yeah, still do this. <laughs> Four minutes and 13. This is the time that the foul triples have to move down. But then the free throws also have to dismiss oh, about maybe five, six now. Missing both Dominic Oye, the offensive rebound. Season against Zamora. Against Aliado. Now Oresco Cochaga. No, he will not take a three. Mestosa. Chaseco. It's a handoff. Acosta goes into the scoring column, right? First two points for Acosta. He was saddled with early fouls, and he's now back. Rewarded with a pair of points. Dino Altiguer wants to give it to Aliado. It's well covered by Acosta. Aliado, who's fish off a foul of Acosta, but he wants to give it to Cristan. Black, black by Arasbaco Chaga. He's been playing a hell of a defensive game. A oh, yeah. Tyron Bautista and Cristan. Santi Arespaco Chaga. And now, Tison to Arespaco Chaga. He's starting to take a three. It doesn't drop. Dominic Oy. Dino Altiguer. 77-47, an amazing 30-point lead, and an amazing back shot by Aliado, <laughs> off the glass. Finally, things slow down, Restoja, oh, yeah. with the signal, two-man pick, and now it's Chaseco for the jumper, and it drops it, another Milo three-point shot. Well, Ateneo shooting as if there were no tomorrow from the three-point region. Ares Papachaga is substituted now by Brian Sisson. 80-49, Ateneo on top. We've got a timer. As they, they are already celebrating, but... Alexander hey, Respokochaga, hard-working defensive man. You, you bet. I love that player. Huh? I love the way he hustles, the way he plays defense. He was able to clamp down on uh, both Tristan and Bautista. Let's see. Tristan, only nine points. Bautista, ten points. Rios is inside the hard court for De La Salle. So is Zamora. Dino Altiguer with the ball fake. Gives it back to Zamora. Altiguer once again. They get get free. Yeah. Look at that defense now, Bataneo. Seven seconds on the clock. Somebody has to take a jumper. Oh, yes! Don Aliado. Aliado. Aliado's biggest game to date has 10 points in the ball game and uh, 10 rebounds. And they're down by 29. Chaseco. Left side, Ciso. Acosta. Chaseco, 14 on the clock. Ciso against Zamora. Running jumper, doesn't drop. Now in the last two minutes of this ball game, brought to you by Nike. The people of Nike encourage you to just do it. 80-51, Don Aliado. With converting, Zamora. Awkward move by Zamora, but they still have it. Rios will take a jumper. And offline. They didn't drink their Milo this afternoon. And the Athenians had lots of it, and they've been drilling it from the Milo three-point line. The assist, Ateneo, a very cohesive squad. A very rare performance by the Blue Eagles. If you consider the past performances against De La Salle in the past UWAP tournament, time is winding down. In a ball game, Zamora gets two points inside. An exceptional one for the Athenians. Oh yes, there's going to be a big celebration, Jim. Big celebration tonight, that's for sure. Tison will foul Dino Aldeguer. Dino Aldeguer did try hard at point. But then they've been making themselves a chance to get the momentum back after that first quarter by the Blue Eagles. So probably this afternoon, Mr. Trillo, I could say that uh, with the impending win of the seniors division 
and the win by the junior division. And we will allow you a win by the ladies' by division. By the women's division, okay. So it's uh, a very nice Ateneo Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Can't be one without the other, I suppose. Okay. 80-53. 33 seconds to go. Zamora from a distinguished oh. family. Oh, yeah. Father, the representative of that district. A big victory for Ateneo here, very big. And this should boost the morale of the team going into games against USC and UP. Deal by Dino Aldeguer, being chased by Tiso. Aldeguer, the left-hander, finally gets his first two points. Yes, 80-55. Reyes is in the hard court. Uh -huh. 11 seconds to go. Yeah, that's Mike Reyes. He's got a good hand from the outside. Oh, yes, they want him to take a shot, but then time's running down. Aldeguer will probably give De La Salle the last attempt to field. And that's it. 80-55. Ateneo celebrates. No, it's not the championship. It's just the Ateneo De La Salle ball game. That's the drought of so many years, and now this blowout of 25 points on a first quarter punctuated by a lot of triples. John Verayo, Tison, Restosa, sea of blue and white celebrating here at the Araneta Coliseum. I was about to say, uh, in retrospect here, of course, we know that Tison and Verayo were the top scorers, but then you have to give a lot of credit to Pinzon and to Arespa Pachaga. Of course, to all of, to everybody, but Arespa Pachaga played very well against uh, Chris Tan and Tyron Bautista. Pinzon set the tone for his team. Of course, a point guard. He had eight rebounds, so only two points, but eight rebounds, and he really uh, did a fine job. Now, it's uh, LaSalle that panicked somewhat, the more experienced team, when that lead of Ateneo went up, they panicked somewhat, and uh, weren't looking to assist anymore. You know, they were going one-on-one, -on -one and you can score baskets that way. So Ateneo, I felt, was not lucky tonight. They made their own luck. They hustled a lot. They uh, set up their half-court offense, went for the break when they could, and uh, that's the start of this ball game, Jim. Oh, yes, yeah, so a 26-point lead when we started off the, the second quarter, and uh, no recovery from that kind of a lead. And you were correct. No composure on the part of De La Salle. In fact, uh, uh, hot off the cuff for a while. Right. And, you know, okay, another thing I was thinking of, Jim, is this. In the first round, if you recall, uh, La Salle had a clean slate. They were playing very well, uh, giving up a, a lot of assist passes. And uh, But I felt, however, they were part mechanical, not that uh, they could uh, play so very readable. And I thought there was a good adjustment made in the sense that some players uh, were allowed to shoot more baskets and all that. But now, I think it got to their heads, and everybody wants to shoot, and there's no one giving the assist passes. If you notice earlier, 25 assists for Ateneo, only 11 for La Salle. That's very, very small, 11 assists. I think they should go back to the first uh, first round, the way they used to play, and just set up the teammates, give a lot of assist passes. It's, uh, I think that's the big problem now with La Salle, and they're going to the final four with that in mind. Huh? Right now, we'd like to go back to home studios for a few more reminders. Very rare ball game when you have that high a percentage from the three-point line. Ateneo 80, the South 55. We've got some interviews from uh, some happy Ateneans right here. As uh, you're looking at us, but uh, we're not the happy ones. Look at Jutorquato. Uh, Jutorquato is right there. Okay, guys, we're here with uh, the winning team. Uh, first off, we got Brandon Season here. Uh, six out of seven from the three-point line. Uh, how did you practice your three-pointers this week? I don't know. I just went in. See, John, Naman. See, John. John, you know, when you feel this good, and the, what, I mean, what, what, what do you think about, or how do you respond? What did the coach say? I mean, you were shooting lights out in the first half. That was in the second half. You kept, you kept on shooting. Yeah, basically, that's what Gabby told me. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, no, they just told me to play, you know, uh, don't take up any pressure, you know. Uh, Siyempre, I, I came off from uh, ano, a lousy uh, game nung first round against La Salle. So, they didn't want me to think of that. So, they just wanted me to just play, shoot. And that's it. Come on, Gabs. Gabs, you came from Canada. You're here now. Your first year here you know, after a while back. Uh, you know, you're proud to be an Atenean. How does it feel to win your first game here? It feels good! 
Hi, Mom. Hi, Rose. I'm going to Enchanted Kingdom. Well, we got a bunch of happy guys here. Back to you guys. <laughs> Never seen a bunch of happy guys win uh, one in a mo hey, million hey, ball game. We hey. say one in a million. Where, when can you get hands like that from I, the three-point line? 80-55. And I'll tell you one thing. I just got this a stat from our chief statistician, Joe Concepcion. Ateneo hit 16 out of 33 from the three-point region for a 48% shooting clip. 16 three-point shots, all-time high in the UAAP. And he told me, maybe even in the PBA, I don't know, but he says it's an all-time high 16. So that's really a, a big, hey, this one in a million game we saw here. Uh, it's, 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 it's okay. It's, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, but honestly, it's, it's really honestly, okay. Honestly, I think, I think uh, LaSalle needed a lot more, uh, how should I put, uh, composure. Not only composure, considering that they're leading this league, they need yes. composure going into the final yeah, four. Yeah, they had to settle down. And then the talent's you know, there. Eleven assists. How, how about that? I think, like I said, since they're leading now, you know, all players just want to shoot and shoot. Nobody's thinking of distributing that ball, and that will cause a downfall here. 80-55, the okay. score, and maybe we got some numbers here. Oh, yes, Brand, Brandon Season, 23 points. Barrio, 23 with 8 rebounds. Rentosa, 14 points. Telan, 13 points. Aliado, 10 points. Bautista, 10 points. A lot of rebounds, of course, for Telan, 10 and 11 Aliado. But overall, I think uh, they, they miscalculated Ateneo. You know, when Ateneo got that lead, they said, hey, we can do it. All of them thought we can do it alone, not giving them assist passes. But Ateneo's defense was rock solid. Hard as a rock, and uh, they wanted to win, and they won by 25 points. Some words De La Salle could use going to the Final Four if they want to snatch that title from uh, UST going to their four-peat. We're going to the big picture now. UST is still right there, so oh, yes. is UP. They still have a chance. Ateneo is just going back into the Final Four and still has UE to contend with. Yes. Going back to this ball game, our key player is John Verayo, Ateneo's number 14. Five out of 13 for 23 points from the field. Our key player of the game will receive a gift pack from Enerbon. Enerbon, the official vitamins of the RP team to the 96 Olympics. Yes, uh, happy bunch of Athenians right there. Brandon Season, our MVP. Field goal percentages, 6 out of 7 from the 3-point line. And 8 out of 9 overall. Brandon Season, 23 points and uh, 4 rebounds and 1 steal. Oh yes, <laughs> thumbs up sign. Our MVP That's of the game nice. will receive... A 1,000 peso gift certificate from True Value. Games tomorrow, September 15 at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum. UPUST live, and there's Adamson versus UE. And uh, classmates from uh, Class 72 are uh, right here in front of us. Subi Grand Prix, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., Nike 3 on 3. Part 2 of games in North Edsa, and you got UP versus UST live. That's tomorrow, Sunday. And, uh, and hey, wait, you heard Jimmy, he said classmates from 72, now he's 45 years old, you know that. No, that was a <laughs> masteral degree, okay? <laughs> well, it's okay, you can you can tell yes. me, but I will give all the tissue to you, Mr. Trillo. Okay. On behalf of my crying partner, well, blowout, De La Salle, juniors division, Ateneo, seniors division, Ateneo, we, we console you Never with mind. a win in the women's hey. division. You know, I, I will give you the whole box of tissue. But that's okay, Jim. We're, we After understand. all, we understand. We had to give you. Hey, this game. is all yours. Wait, this is all yours. On behalf of Silver hey. Star Sports, hey. our La director, La La in the Dardy final Bonales. Four. Oh yes. Yeah. not yet in the yes. final four. Cry your heart out, Mr. <laughs> Trillo. We'll see you next time.